Hello everybody. Today is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the eighth day of our marathon fasting and prayer. And we are heading towards the end of our fasting. And we just have to keep on finishing hard, knowing that the Lord God Almighty he is faithful. He says that if you draw nigh to me, I will surely draw nigh to you. So whatever be your expectations, you just have to believe that the Lord God Almighty will definitely grant to you whatever your heart desires are. So mm -hmm. today we are going to, um, I would like to share with you Numbers chapter 23. And the first part is taken from 23 verse 8. Numbers chapter 23 verse 8 then we'll go, go to Numbers chapter 23 verse 23 and then praise uh, praise the Lord and then begin to pray even in the name of Jesus Christ tonight we'll spend time praying on our five prayer requests interceding for our loved ones and then I'll take one or two prayer requests and that'll be it for tonight when we read Numbers chapter 23 verse 8 it says that how shall I curse whom God has not cursed? And how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? Here the Bible makes us to understand in Numbers chapter 23 verse 7 that Balak took Balaam the prophet to a mountain and said to him, Come, curse Jacob and come, denounce Israel. Come, and curse the children of God and come and denounce them and the Bible says that when the prophet came and was trying to curse Israel he couldn't he was not successful in cursing Israel because God prevented him from cursing the children of God and we represent the children of God God is trying to let you know that once you have a covenant relationship with him through the blood of Christ and you are living your life, the secret is you are living your life to please him and you are hidden in the secret place of the Most High and you are holding on to Jesus Christ. Nobody can curse you and nobody can denounce you. There are many of us who are afraid of witches, afraid of wizards, afraid of curses, afraid of spells. But here the Bible is saying that even though this prophet was hired to come and curse Israel and Jacob, here the prophet said, how can I curse whom God has not cursed? If you are a child of God, you are under Abrahamic blessings, nobody can curse you. How can I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? If you are under the Abrahamic covenant through the blood of Jesus Christ and you are living your life, to please God, nobody can denounce you. No witch, no wizard, no sorcery. Now we go to Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. If you can understand this secret, if you, under, you can understand this word, you will stop being afraid of your enemies. Because you know that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say the Lord is my fortress in whom will I take my salvation. You will say that though my enemies will come against me in one way, but they will flee in seven ways. You will be able to say that no weapon that is fashioned against me will ever prosper. And every lips which is risen against me in judgment, I condemn it because this is my inheritance and my heritage in Christ Jesus. You'll be able to say that when the enemy comes against me like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. You will know with confidence that on daily basis, on any given time, you are never alone. You are surrounded by the angel of the Lord. You are protected by the blood. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Does no one dare curse you when God has not cursed you? No one dare denounce you. When the Lord has not denounced you. Nothing evil. Nothing harmful can happen to you. Unless the Lord permits it. 
nothing evil and nothing harmful can ever happen to you unless the Lord permits it. And if God is to permit it, it is because it is all going to work together for your good. If you don't understand this scripture this year, you spend the rest of your life this year always allows them, allowing the devil, the demons, the witches, sorcery spells to molest you, to harass you, and to torment you on a daily basis. Molest you, harass you, torment you on a daily basis. But when you know who you are in Christ, and you have this relationship in Christ, and you are hidden in God and in Christ Jesus, and you are hidden in the secret place of the Most High, you know that no weapon, no weapon, whether physical or spiritual, no weapon, whether curses or charm, no weapon, whether divination or incantation, no weapon, whether negative prophecies or negative prayers against you, no weapon fashioned against you. Here, the, the, the king hired a prophet who this prophet was one of the finest prophets, whatever he says comes to pass. Come and curse Israel. Come and curse Jacob. The guy came ready to curse. And when he was about to open his mouth, God stopped him. God blocked him. The angel of the Lord blocked him and says that, how can you curse him whom the Lord has not cursed? How can you denounce him whom the Lord has not denounced? All you need is for God to be on your side. That's why God could tell Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse anyone who curses you. When you and I understand this relationship with Jesus, and we walk in him, with him, in truth and in spirit, and we separate ourselves from sin, and repent from sin, and live a holy life, a righteous life, you can say that anyone who dares curses you is under the curse of God. Anyone who blesses you will be blessed because you are blessed of the Lord and no demon, no sorcery, no witch can touch you. How can I curse whom God has not cursed? And how can I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? Then when you come to Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, for there is no sorcery, there is no sorcery against Jacob, and there is no any divination against Israel. There is no sorcery. No one can perform sorcery, can perform witchcraft, can perform incantation against the child of God. There is no sorcery. There is no divination against Jacob. They will try it, but they will fail it. They will try it, but it will not work. They will try, but it will backfire against them. Because how can they curse him whom the Lord has not cursed? And how can they denounce him whom the Lord has not denounced? You can quote this scripture and claim this promise, but it only operates when you are in a covenant relationship with Jesus. And you know him, and you walk with him, and you hide in him and you take your refuge in him, then you can say of certainty that I am not moved by what my enemies are plotting because the angel of the Lord are watching over me as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So the Lord watches over his children. The eyes of the Lord is watching through and through to strengthen those whose hearts are perfect towards him. Though a thousand may come against you, thousands will fall on your right, ten thousand on your left, only with your eyes. Would you see the reward of the wicked? The Lord God Almighty will deliver you. This year, God wants me to tell you that if you will partnership with him and get yourself connected to him, no weapon. There will be no divination. There will be no witchcraft. There will be no generational curse. There will be no forces of darkness that is planned against you which will ever manifest because the Lord Most High he will deliver you at all times. He will deliver you at all times. Every day, enemies are conspiring, plotting, devising evil against humanity. If you are not hidden in Christ, you will be attacked by their spells. You will be hit by their darts, 
you will be hit by their arrows, you will be hit by their spears, it will destroy you. But when you find your refuge in Christ, and you keep on hiding yourself in the secret place, and the secret place is the, the place of prayer, a place where you are always in communion with Jesus, then no weapon. I tell you the truth, no weapon. Fashioned against you, fashioned against your family. When, when, before they plan, God will reveal it to you. And whilst they are trying to execute it, the Lord will allow you to nullify it. And it will never stand against you. So tonight, I just came to tell you that whatever your enemies are planning against you, do not be afraid. For no weapon, no weapon, fashion against you will ever prosper. The witchcraft that they are plotting against you will not prosper. It will not prosper. The voodoo will not prosper. The obia will not prosper. The Santa Maria will not pr prosper. Any enchantment, any satanic priest, priestess, any satanic prophet who is devising evil against you, if you are truly in Christ and walking with him, fear no evil. You shall fear no evil. That's why David could say that though I walk through, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, for thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of my enemies, thou anointed my head with oil. Tonight, I want you to know that God says that there is no divination, there is no divination against you. If you are redeemed by the blood, and you are pleading the blood, and you are covered by the blood, and you are repenting by the cleansing blood of Christ, and you are walking with Jesus, you have angels around you, surrounding you, protecting you from your enemies. You have angels around you to hold you up, lest you dash your foot to a stone. If you are walking with Jesus, then you have the blood which is covering you, serving as a Passover. Though your enemies by this time might be planning evil, but all their conspiracies, all their enterprise, all their plots, all their devices, all their satanic agenda against your life and destiny will not stand. Because the Bible makes us to understand in Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, that there is no divination. There is no divination against Israel. Nor no sorcery, witchcraft, spells, charm, divination against Jacob. For the Lord God Almighty is with him. Tonight, I want you to pray and begin to thank God. I want you to thank God. I want you to praise Him. When after we have praised Him and worship Him, we are going to pray that no weapon that is fashioned against us this year, it will not stand. And precious one, when we praise God, we praise God for what He has done for us. You have something to praise God about, though you may not be where you want to be, but definitely the Lord has brought you this far and is taking you gradually to where you ought to be. So we praise God for what He has done for us. For what he's doing for us, the, the air we breathe, the good things he's been lavishing upon us. But we worship God. We worship God for who he is. We worship him because he's magnificent. We worship God because he's omnipotent. We worship God because he's God and sovereign. We worship God because he deserves our worship because we were created, we were born to worship him. So today I want you to praise God for what he has done for you and worship God for who he is how sovereign and how awesome he is. Open your mouth and begin to praise God and worship God and thank God for your life, for the year 2013, for your family, for your salvation, for preserving your life and worship him. And say, Lord, I worship you because you are God. You are sovereign. You are king. You are, I don't have to worship you because of what you have done for me. I worship you because you are God and you deserve my worship. Anyone who truly knew how to worship, they never cease receiving the blessings of God. Tonight, you want God to bless you. God demands your worship. If you worship Him, you will not fall short of the blessing of God. Open your mouth, praise the Lord, thank God, and worship Him for who the Lord God Almighty is. Let's begin to go before the presence of God. David says, I will enter into His gate with thanksgiving. I will enter into His court with praise. And I will say, this is the day the Lord has made. I'll rejoice for he has made me glad. Open your mouth right now as we praise, worship, and thank God for his goodness and his mercies and joy forever and ever. Let's pray. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. 
Father, we worship you. Lord, we give you all the glory. We worship you and give you all the glory for you are God. You are king. You are sovereign. You rule with splendor. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. We exalt your name. We enthrone your name. Reba zan tayadaba zindo lobo kan tayadaba. Man deliver zan dalaba baba baba. Father be glorified. Lord be glorified. Lord be magnified. Lord be enthroned. Lord be enthroned. You deserve my praise. You deserve that my praise. Because you are God. Because you are magnificent. Because you are an awesome God. Because you are a good God. Because you are the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. The ancient of days. The bright morning star, the soon coming king, the I am that I am, the all powerful God, the all knowing God, the all wise God, all sovereign God, the I am that I am. We bless you. Jesus, you are the way. Jesus, you are the truth. Jesus, you are the life. No one has access to the Father except through you. You are the lamp of God that taken away the sins of mankind. I bless you, Lord Jesus. 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 I honor your name. Praise the Lord for all the things he has done for you. Worship God for who he is. Praise the Lord for what he has done for you. Worship the Lord for who he is. Bless his holy name. Exalt his holy name. Glorify his holy name. He alone deserves the pray- our praise. We were created for his pleasure. 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 Magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, magnify the name of the Lord with me. Reman da lebi zan chaya da baros. Rain da la baran da lebi yan da lebi zen da la baba. Ran do lo bo zen zen di lebi yan da la baba. Rain do lo bo bo zen da lebi yan da. Rain ba da baba baba baba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For enabling me to see the year 2013. It is by your grace and by your mercy. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for being my rock. Thank you for being my defense. Thank you for being my high tower. Thank you for being my defense. Thank you for being my shield. <laughs> Randa la baro ze ze de le le yanda le bi yanda le bi yando Magnify the name of the Lord Magnify the name of the Lord Bless the name of the Lord He is worthy to be praised and adored So we lift our holy hands and say Bless the be the name of the Lord O robo se ke de le bi yanda la baba Rain de le bo san da la baba 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 Praise the name of the Lord for all that he has done for you Praise the name of the Lord for his divine protection in your life. Praise the name of the Lord for the provisions that he gives to you. Praise the name of the Lord for preserving your life. Praise the name of the Lord for being your defense and your high tower. Praise the name of the Lord for being your sustainer. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his loving kindness. Thank him for his tender mercies. Worship him. Worship him for who he is. For he is sovereign, he is omnipotent, he is omniscient, he is all powerful, he is all knowing, he is all wise. Re ba ba ya da ba 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 ba. Re man dili bi ya de le bo zanda la. Re bom boli bi li bi li bi la do lo bo zanda. Re de le bi ya da la ba 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 zanda le bo zanda. Re do lo bo zin de le ya da la ba ba. Father, I bless you. Father, I bless you. Father, I worship you. Lord, I give you all the glory. Lord, I give you all the honor. Lord, I give you all the oration. Lord, I give you all the praise. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Rende rebobosa. Rende rebibiandes. Rende zandanibianda. We worship you, Jesus. Rababa santa yada bababa sandanibinibinibi. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Who was, who is, who is to come? 
All glory, all honor belongs to you, Jesus. For the strength you have given to us to fast. The strength you have given to us to fast. Lord, you are our Redeemer. Lord, you are Redeemer. Lord, we are our Redeemer. Lord, you 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 are my Redeemer. Lord, you are my Redeemer. The Redeemer of Fresh Farm Ministry. The Redeemer of my wife. The Redeemer of my children. The Redeemer of my family. You are my Redeemer. I thank you, Jesus, for being my Redeemer. Redeeming me from destruction. Oh, God, I thank you for the blood that cleanses me from all my sins. I thank you for the blood that heals me from all sickness. I thank you for the blood that redeems, redeems me from destruction. I thank you for the blood that satisfies my mouth with good things until, until my youth is renewed like that of the eagle. I bless your name. I bless your name. Reba baraba zandelele zanda. Reba bo 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 zanda lebe lebe zanda la ba 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 ba. Reba ba 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 ba. Reba ba ba zanda ba lebe 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 lebe. Reba ba shada ba 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 ba. Thank you Jesus. Reba zanda lebe lebe zanda la ba 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 ba. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Rabba sata yada ba 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 ba. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. The Bible says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and that the truth is not in us. However, if we confess our sins, if we admit our sins. And we admit our shortcomings and we present ourselves before the Lord. The Lord says that He will forgive us. Tonight, go before the Lord and ask Him to forgive you. Ask the Lord to cleanse you. Ask the Lord to wash you with the precious blood of Jesus. Tell the Lord that, Father, this year I want to be holy. I want to be righteous. I want to live in, in truth and in spirit. I want to worship you in truth and in spirit. I want to be separated from the world, separated from bad friends, separated from anything that will contaminate and pollute me. I want to live a consecrated life and live like the five wise virgins to please you. So, Father, end this sin in me. Let the refining fire, let the refining fire burn every addiction, burn every attitude, burn every behavior, burn every morality, burn every anger, bitterness, jealousy, pride, uh, anything in me that has been glorified you. Father, wash me with the blood, blot away my sins, and help me to be holy. Pray for forgiveness of sin and the grace to live a holy life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray. Father God, Father God, your word says that oh, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us. Father, this year we want to be holy. This year we want to be holy. This year we want to be holy. For the Bible says that without holiness, nobody can see your face. Without holiness, nobody can make entrance into heaven. Father, help me to be holy. Help me to be righteous. Help me to worship you in truth and in spirit. Deliver me, O Lord Almighty, from contamination, from pollution and defilement, O Lord. Help me, O Lord, to live a consecrated old life which is unto you, O God. Father God, grant us the grace, O God. Anything in our lives that has not glorified you, anything in our lives that has defiled us. Today, in the name of Jesus, I ask that the refining fire, I ask that the refining fire of the Holy Ghost will burn up, will burn up, will burn up. Every morality will burn up, every lust will burn up, every bitterness will burn up, every envy will burn up, every idolatry will burn up, every gossip will burn up, every pride and stubbornness, disobedience will burn up, every, oh God Almighty, prayerlessness will burn up, oh Lord Almighty, any gossip, any pride, any arrogance, oh God, every forgiveness, every jealousy. Anything in our lives that has been glorified you. Oh God, let a refining fire, let a refining fire, let a refining fire deliver us from our sins. Let a refining fire break us free from our addictions, from our immorality, from our wayward lifestyle, and help us to live a holy life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, create in us, create in us a renewed our right spirit. Create in us a renewed our right spirit. Oh, cast us not away from thy presence. But restore to us the joy of your salvation and renew the right spirit. 
take away the heart of stone, the heart of stubbornness, the heart of rebellion, the heart of disobedience, and give us the heart of flesh, a heart of Lord Almighty, which, O oh Lord, obeys you and will serve you and will worship you in truth and in spirit. Father, help us to be holy. 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 Help us to be righteous. Help us to be consecrated. Help us to live a holy life in the name of Jesus and to please you in Jesus' name to obey your commandments and read your word and abide in you that your word may abide in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy, for forgiving us and cleansing us from all our unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let the blood cleanse us. Let the blood purify us. Let the blood wash us. Purify us in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to pray. We want to pray for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Precious one, this year it will take the anointing. It will take the anointing to do it, make the difference. When he, the Holy Ghost. And today I want you to pray. Not just the anointing that God, that this year I may have constant communion constant fellowship with the person of the holy spirit the bible says that jesus christ is in heaven god is in heaven it is the third person of trinity the holy ghost who is here on earth with us and the bible says that he the holy spirit will lead you into all truth he the holy spirit will lead you he will direct you he will give you grace he will give you strength he will comfort you he will guide you pray that father fill me with the holy ghost Fill me with your anointing, fill me with your fire, and above everything, help me to walk with the Holy Ghost that I may hear his voice when he speaks to me, as he directs me, as he guides me, as he leads me into the path of righteousness, that I may never make wrong choices, may not fall into the trap of the Holy Ghost, uh, the, the trap of the enemy, that the Holy Spirit will lead me to do the will of the Lord. So pray right now that Father God, today is another day. Fill me and baptize me with the Holy Ghost and with your fire. Baptize me with fresh anointing. And Lord, help me to walk with the Holy Ghost, even in Jesus' name. Begin to pray. Father God, we need anointing. We need fresh anointing. We need fresh anointing. We need fresh anointing. We need a fresh anointing. We need a fresh oil. We need fresh grace. Tonight, pour fresh anointing, fresh oil, fresh grace, fresh fire. We need a fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 We need a fire of the Holy Ghost upon us. Father, help us to be in constant fellowship, constant communion with the Holy Ghost, that we may be attentive to the still small voice of the Holy Ghost. We may be directed, we may be comforted, we may be empowered, we will be emboldened by the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way in our lives this year, that we will help us to fulfill God's purpose for our lives. Pray, pray for the infill of the Holy Ghost. Pray for the baptism of fire. Pray for the baptism of fire. Pray for the power of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fresh oil. Fresh grace. In the body and the body. Rabbazan Dalababa. Remando Lobozen de Lelebezan Dalababa. Rebobozan de Lelebezan Dalababa. Father, we need fresh fire. 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 We need fresh power. We need fresh anointing. We need fresh grace. Rejuvenate us. Energize us. Empower us. Energize us. Refresh us. Nourish us. Embolden us. Revive us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Revive us by the power of the Holy Ghost. And induce us. Empower us by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing. Oh, Robo Satayadaba. Rabba Bayada, the other Rebosa. Reba Baba 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 Baba. But I feel us afresh with the Holy Ghost. Feel us afresh with the Holy Ghost. Hey, pour your anointing upon us tonight. Pour your oil upon us tonight. As well as our whole like that of the Uricom. We receive strength from you, O oh God. We receive grace from you, O oh God. We receive energy from you, O oh Lord. We receive vitality from you, O oh Lord. Energize us, O oh God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. For your Bible says, when ye the Holy Ghost has come, he will empower you, he will embody you. He man tell me beyond that. Holy Ghost be our comforter. Holy Spirit be our comforter. Holy Spirit lead us into our truth. Holy Spirit be our guide. Be our strength keeper. Holy Ghost have your way in our lives. Reba Barian de Reba Sandini. Help us to walk in the spirit. Help us to manifest the fruit of the spirit. Help us to manifest the gifts of the spirit. Reba Basan Tayana Baba Baba Baba. Reba Basian de Ribiriana Baba Baba. We need the fire of the Holy Ghost. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You need the grace of the Holy Ghost. Reba Jalabasan Baba 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 Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. Numbers 23, verse 23. There is no sorcery. There is no sorcery against Jacob nor any divination against Israel. There is no witchcraft. There is no sorcery. There is no divination. There is no spells. There is no weapon against Israel nor divination against Jacob. You are going to pray that this year, because I am hidden in Christ, this year, because I am in co- covenant with Jesus Christ, there is no divination and there is no sorcery against me. There is no divination and there is no sorcery against my finances. There is no divination and there is no sorcery against my marriage. There is no divination and there is no sorcery against my children. There is no divination and there is no sorcery against my health. Begin to pray that God, according to your word, in Numbers 23 verse 23, you are aware that there is no divination and there's no sorcery and so witchcraft has no power over me demons have no powers over me principalities have no powers over me thrones and dominions have no powers over me oh any occultic powers have no powers over me because there's no divination and there's no sorcery number 23 verse 8 says that how can i curse whom the lord has not cursed i am not cursed and so nobody can curse me how can you denounce anyone whom the lord has not denounced the lord has not denounced me so nobody can denounce me so there is no divination, there is no sorcery, no weapon fashion against me whoever prosper this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray it into your life in the name of Jesus. There is no divination, there is no sorcery against my wife Esther. There is no divination, there is no sorcery against my children. There is no divination, there is no sorcery against Christ my ministry. There is no divination. There's no sorcery against my brother and my family. There's no divination. There's no sorcery because I'm redeemed by the blood. 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 The precious blood of Jesus. I have inherited the Abrahamic blessing. I have inherited the Abrahamic blessing. So how can anybody catch me? I am uncastable. I am uncastable. In the mighty name of Jesus, there's no curse against me. No weapon passion against whoever prospers. No one purpose against whoever person. Every lesson against me, judgment. I condemn it. There's no one who can denounce me because I am not denounced by God. I am blessed of the Lord. I am blessed of the Lord. I am favored of the Lord. I am favored of the Lord. I am the apple of God's eyes. I am the apple of God's eyes. There, there's no divination. There's no enchantment. There is no cast. There's no charm. There's no hexes. There's no voodoo. There's no opia. There's no Santa Maria. There's no. No arrows fashion against me. That will ever prosper. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. No weapon fashion against me. No weapon fashion against Fresh Fire Ministry. No weapon fashion against my children, my family. No weapon fashion against my wife. No weapon fashion against my destiny. Will ever prosper. Today, in the name of Jesus, I take authority. By the authority of the blood. By the authority of the blood. I renounce. I denounce. I pull down. I throw down. I frustrate. I cancel. Every plot and evil schemes against me. Because I am blessed of the Lord. And I cannot be cast out. I am favored of the Lord. And I cannot be denounced out. There is no sorcery. There is no divination. There is no witchcraft. There is no wisdom. There is no, there is no witchcraft against my life and my destiny. Reba ba 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 ba. Mendo lobo santa ya da ba. Remondo lobo sindi libiri ya da ba ba. Ka ba 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 soto lobo santa la ba ba. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Our next prayer. We are going to pray that every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit, when somebody is practicing witchcraft, 
witchcraft spirit is witchcraft is a spirit that possesses humanity and uses them as agents and instruments of the devil to fight against people's destiny. Once that individual is under the under the control of witchcraft, they just come in to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I don't know who is in your life who is possessed by the spirit of witchcraft and whom the devil wants to use to kill, to steal, and to destroy your life, your destiny, your marriage, your your pregnancy, your your finances, your destiny, whatever that spirit is, whoever is possessed by that spirit and the devil is using them against you, tonight you are going to pray and take this prayer seriously. If you don't have strength, you better get strength and pray this. Because once that individual is under the oppression of that witchcraft, they are going to be controlled by that spirit to steal, to kill and to destroy you. To steal, to kill and to destroy you. That spirit of witchcraft, they don't have mercy. They don't have mercy. They are in to steal from you, kill you, and to destroy you. You are going to pray tonight that anybody in my life, anybody in my family, anybody in my marriage, anybody behind my finances, anybody behind my problems who is possessed by this spirit, I am tonight commanding that spirit of witchcraft to die. I am commanding that spirit. Remember, we are dealing with the spirit. We are commanding that spirit of witchcraft, using them to die. And if that individual doesn't want to let go of that spirit, but want to be used to be destroy me, then may the Lord deal with them. May the Lord take them out. So you are going to pray that any spirit of witchcraft that is fighting my destiny, that is fighting my vision, that is fighting my purpose, that is fighting my, my God's purpose for my life, that is fighting my marriage, that is fighting my progress, that is fighting my children, fighting my husband, fighting my destiny, fighting my health today. I command that spirit of witchcraft to die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' name, begin to wage war in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that spirit of witchcraft to die. Remonto Bose Deleve Santayadaba. Remon Poli Bili Bili Bizan Deleve Santayada. I command every witchcraft spirit in oppression against my destiny. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Every witchcraft against Sonny, operating against his destiny, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Every witchcraft against Sonny, against Sonia, operating against their destiny, against their purpose, die by fire, die by fire. Every witchcraft against Esther, against their destiny, oh robot Satayada, in the name of Jesus, I command you to die by fire, die by fire. Die by fire! Every witch club against fresh fire ministry, against our progress, against our increase, against our development, against the purpose of God. I command that spirit of witch club to die by fire! 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 Spirit of witch club, die in the name of Jesus! Die in the name of Jesus! Die in the name of Jesus! Every agent, every messenger of Satan, using witch club against my destiny, Die, 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 die for my mother's family, die for my father's family. Every witch can cancel, every witch can COVID, every witch can plot against my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Rebel, Satai, 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 Babo, Bosse, Don Tolo, Babo, Say, Telebo, Lebe. I command you to die by fire. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. I render you non oppressed now. I render you useless and void. I command you to die, die, die. Die in the name of Jesus. Wait, God, die in my life. Die in Sonny's life. Die in Sonny's life. Die in my marriage. Die in my ministry. Die in my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. I sentence you to death in Jesus' name. May the power of God, may the power of God, may the power of God, may the power of God consume every with God's face. Command them to die by fire. Rebo Satayada. Pray, pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Pray aggressively. Kill that spirit. Kill the spirit of witchcraft. Kill the spirit of witchcraft. Kill the spirit of witchcraft. Rebo Bosan Dali Bili Bili Biya. Bondo Lobo Zan Dali Bili Bili Every witchcraft operating against your marriage, die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft operating against your health, die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft operating against your destiny, 
Die! Die in your life! Die in your life! Die in your life in the name of Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. 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 We are now going to lift up our five prayer requests, each and every one of them before the Lord, and as we lift them up together, pray that the Lord God Almighty with this year will give you a breakthrough. God, give me a breakthrough in my five prayer requests. Lift up your knees before the Lord in prayer, your five prayer requests. The Bible says that, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. We are calling upon him and we are waiting upon him. So tell the Lord that this year, Father, give me a breakthrough. Let that angel of breakthrough, let the angel of breakthrough begin to give me my collective breakthrough for each and every one of my five prayer requests. Begin to pray that God will give you a breakthrough concerning each and every one of your five prayer requests. Let's pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says that we should call upon you, and you will answer us and show us great and mighty things. Great and mighty things. Great and mighty things. I pray that, Father God, you will show us, O oh Lord, great and mighty things concerning our five prayer requests. As we lift our first prayer request, Father, answer us and give us a breakthrough. Answer our five prayer requests. Answer our first prayer request. Answer my second prayer request. Answer my third prayer request. Answer my fourth prayer request. Answer my fifth prayer request. And show me your favor. And show me your blessings. And show me increase. And show me your goodness. In each and every one of my five prayer requests. Answer me, O oh God. Answer me, O oh God. Answer me, O oh God. O oh God of Elijah. Answer me by fire. O oh God of Elijah. Answer my five prayer requests. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, oh God, answer us as we call. Answer us as we call upon you. Answer us as we call upon you. Answer our five prayer requests. Answer us, oh God. Answer us, oh God. Give us a breakthrough. This year, give us a breakthrough. This year, give us a breakthrough. Let the angel of breakthrough, Lord. Oh, bring the breakthrough for our five prayer requests. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the angel of breakthrough bring us our breakthrough in our five prayer requests. In the mighty name of Jesus, may we see your glory. May we see your glory. May we see your intervention. May we see your the miracles. May we see your miracles. May we see the miracles in our lives this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We want to pray. We want to pray for our loved ones who are not seen. That this year, our children, our husbands, our nephews, our niece, our parents, those who don't know Jesus Christ in our family will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Those who knew Jesus but have fallen from the grace, have backslidden. We want to pray that as we are praying, God will revive them and God will bring them back. Pray and intercede for your family members that they will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus and that they will be ready for the soon return of Jesus. Let's pray right now for the salvation of our family and our friends and loved ones, even our enemies, that God will save them. Let's pray. Reba Santa, Father, I pray, bringing before you my family. I pray for princesses and Lord, save them. 
Save them, O oh Lord Almighty. Revive them, revive them, revive them, revive them, revive them, revive them, that they may return back to their first love and serve you in truth and spirit. That Father, carnality and worldliness, O oh Lord Almighty, will disappear from them. I pray for salvation for them, O oh God. Salvation for my dad, O oh Lord. Salvation for Anita, O oh Lord. Salvation for my entire family, O oh Lord. O oh God Almighty, I pray for Sonia and Sonia that when they grow up, O oh Lord, they will receive you, O oh Lord, as their Lord and personal Savior. Father, prepare their heart, O oh Lord Almighty, that they will be receptive to the, to the gospel, Lord Almighty. I pray for entire salvation for my family. I pray for salvation for my entire family, my nephews and my niece and my cousins, oh Lord Almighty. But I'm going to let them all come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Those who have those who have fallen, those who have backslidden, Father God Almighty, God, deliver them and bring them back, O Lord Almighty, to the truth, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Reba Baba Father, deliver our husbands, Father, deliver our wives, sir. Save them, O Lord, save them, O Lord. Anything that is blocking them from receiving the gospel, Father, let the blindness be broken from their minds, sir. Let the veil be taken from their face, sir. Reba down, Father, we pray for salvation, 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 salvation. Salvation for our family, for your wife, that if you save one, you save it, even the entire household, for any family member, any family member, every friend and relative that we don't know you, we lift them up, O Lord. We pray, O God Almighty, for Esther's family, Esther's family, brothers, O Lord, save them, O Lord Almighty. Reka Baba Raba Basanda Baba, O our co workers, O Lord, our friends and loved ones, O Lord Almighty, for that save them, O Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus. O Roba Sataya Baba Baba. Save Tara, oh God. But I save Tara, oh God. But I save Tara, oh God. Save her in the name of Jesus. Break her heart, oh Lord. And let her, oh God Almighty, receive you in Jesus' name. Let every stubborn heart, oh Lord, be melted in Jesus' name. Save our children. Save our husbands. Save our wives. Save our families. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 You want to pray tonight that every one of these whole lives we are going to intercede for each other as the Holy Spirit leads you. If, if, if sickness comes into mind, pray that Father, if there's anyone who is on this phone line who is sick, kill them. If uh, financial, any problem you are going through, any problem you are going through, don't pray for yourself. Pray for somebody else going through that, the same similar problem. The Bible says that when Job interceded for his friends, then the Lord heard him and the Lord restored Job. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord heard Job and the Lord restored Job. Some, when you are interceding for others, the Lord will also intercede. Jesus will intercede for you and grant you your prayer request. So whatever problem you are going through, don't pray for yourself. Pray for somebody on this phone line going through similar problems. That the Lord will answer them. The Lord will deliver them. The Lord will show him them his miracle the lord almighty will give them the favor don't pray for yourself intercede for somebody on this phone line now father anybody going through sickness heal them anybody financial problem make a way for them anybody going to my storms, restore their marriage don't pray for yourself as you are eagerly and aggressively and fervently pray for others jesus will intercede on your behalf and you will receive your miracle pray and intercede for one another on the phone line right now Father God, I pray before bringing before you the needs of people on this phone line. I pray for the needs of people on this phone line. Father, answer them. Father, answer them. Father, answer them. Father, answer them. Father, answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who need financial breakthrough, Father, grant them their financial breakthrough. Those who need restoration in marriages, Father, restore them. Reman dili bi kan talaba san dili bi dili anda. Rendeli bo san talaba raba ba san dili bi dili anda. Let every need, let every need on this phone be met. Let every need on this phone be met. Those who need deliverance, deliver them from witchcraft. Those who need, O oh Lord, of oh my healing in their body, heal them, O oh God. Those who need salvation, O oh Lord, of oh my save them and just save their household. Those who need a miracle, perform a miracle for them. Those who need jobs, O oh Lord, grant them jobs, O oh Lord. Those who need favors, O oh Lord, grant them favors, O oh Lord. Those who need favors, O oh Lord, as they go to court, O oh Lord. But I turn situation around for their good, O oh Lord. Reman, Dalebe, Lebo, San, 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 Dalebe, Leb
For our God intervene. Give people their miracles. Give people their miracles. Give people their breakthroughs. Let them have a testimony. Let them have their breakthrough. Let them have their testimony. Let the barren receive their children. Let the singles have their husbands. Let those who look for jobs get their jobs. Those who need restoration. I pray for restoration of marriages. Remember rename. Remember rename. Remember Jacqueline. Remember our God Almighty. Remember Natalie. Heal her from cancer. Heal her from cancer. Heal her from cancer. So everyone who is sick on the phone. Rebecca Diana, heal them. Heal them, heal them. Deliver people from witchcraft. Deliver people from their enemies. They say, show them your salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Amen, 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 amen. There's somebody you are going through a storm right now. You are going through so much now. I want us to present people right now who are going through storms right now in their lives. And the weight and the burden is too much for them. If you are also going through the same, you want to pray and lift up that problem before the Lord. Whatever situation that you are going through, the Bible says that you shall go call on to me. On the day of trouble, and I will answer you. I want to pray for anybody who is going through a storm right now in their life. Storms are raging. You are going to pray that the storm will be still. The storm will be still. And those who have presented prayers to me on uh, the Facebook, emails, and all that, that God will still their storms. If you are going through an emergency of problems right now, I want to pray for you right now. That you the storms in your life, the storms in your marriage, the storms in your finances, the storms in your family. The storm that you are going through that is almost uh, putting you down and causing you to be hopeless and helpless. That after this prayer, God will intervene and bring you out of the storm. God will bring you and deliver you and show you your salvation and make a way for you. If you have any need right now that is going on right now, we want to pray that the Lord will intervene and deliver you. Tell the Lord Jesus, show me mercy and deliver me. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me and deliver me from this problem. Let's pray. For those going through problems right now. Rebaba Sataya da Baba 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 Baba. Remando Lobozan da la Baba Baba Baba. Rende Lebozen da la Bacando Lobozanda. For I intercede for anyone going through storms. Storms in their marriage. Storms in their finances. Storms in their body. Storms in their health. Storms in their family. Storms with their children. Storms, oh God Almighty, in every area of their life. I command the storm to be still. I command the storm to be still. I command the mountain to be removed. I command the breakthrough. I command the breakthrough in their lives right now. I command the storms, the storm to be still. I command peace be still. Peace be still. Lord God Almighty, as we call upon you in the days of trouble, but I answer them. Answer them from Mount Zion. Answer them from Mount Zion and deliver them from their problems. Deliver them from their trouble. Deliver them from their affliction. Deliver them from their trials and show them their, your, your salvation. Show them your salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I command every storm to be still. Every storm to be still in the name of Jesus. I pray that you make a way for them. You make a way for them. You make a way for them. Come to Holy Ghost. Come to Holy Ghost for them. Come to Holy Ghost for them and deliver them. Deliver them for a righteous man, a righteous woman who go through many trials, but the Lord deliver them from them all. Father, deliver them. Deliver them today. Deliver them today. Show them your salvation. Show them your salvation. Let them grant them a breakthrough. Grant them a breakthrough. Grant them solutions. Grant them solutions to their problems. Let every need be met. Those who have sent their prayer requests, those who have sent their needs, Father God, answer them in Jesus' name. Answer them in Jesus' name. Show them your miracle. Show them your miracle. Show them your miracle. Show them your miracle. Perform your miracle. Deliver them, O God. Deliver them, O God. Show them your mercy. In Jesus' name, heal them, O God. Heal their finances. 
Heal their marriages. Heal their families. Heal their destinies. Heal them, O oh God. Deliver them, O oh God. Deliver them, O oh God. Deliver them, O oh Lord, from the oppression, from the oppression, from the suppression, from the depression, from the fear, from the torment, from the harassment of the devil. Deliver them, O oh God, in Jesus' name. I command peace. I command peace in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord deliver you right now. May the Lord deliver you right now and show you his salvation. And show you his salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord be your strength and your shield and your backlash. May you have victory over every problem you are going through right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and thank God for an answered prayer tonight. Open your mouth that there is no divination, no weapon, no sorcery against you whoever prosper this year. Thank God that you are covered by the blood so no evil can befall you. Thank God for answering your five prayer requests. Thank God for even taking away the present problem away from your life for, by delivering you. Open your mouth and thank God for an answer prayer. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Rababa sianda lebe zende lebo sanda la baba rababa Renda la baba 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 sanda lebe 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 lebo Thank you Jesus 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 For an answered prayer Thank you Jesus For an answered prayer Thank you Jesus For answering our five prayer requests Thank you Jesus for protecting us from our enemies. Thank you, Jesus, for being our salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for stealing every storm in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for an answer prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The Bible says that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I want us to make a joyful noise. Shout, praise, clap your hands and make a joyful noise. A, a shout of victory. Let the devil know that this year, no definition, no enchantment, no curse has power by your life. Begin to pray and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise. 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 Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Magnify his name. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Exalt his holy name. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Rabba Zadaya Daba Rabba. Rande Lebo Zanda Lebe Lebe Lebe. Rakabaya Daba Zoro Bosanda Lebe Lebe. Rebo Bosaba Baba Baba Remando Lobo Dianda de Vivianda Baba Baba Robo Siana de Vivianda de Vereva Sarabra Rerebo de Vereva Baba Baba Make a joyful noise Make a joyful noise Make a joyful noise unto the Lord Bless his name Bless his holy 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 name. 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 Worship him in the in the beauty of his holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rakabaya daba sata ya daba ba. Randa lebe lebe randa daba ba ba. Rando lobo zende lebo zanda daba ba. Rabba basiando lobo sanda lebe lebe yada. Rapa yada basiando lobo bosanda la baba. Rere re bosara baba baba. Ende le bosanda lebe lebe yana la baba baba. Rabba baba robo sieni lebe lebe yana la baba baba. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah to Jesus. We worship you, mighty God. We exalt your name, mighty God. We have blessed your holy name. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Raw from Zion. Raw from our Zion. And show forth your might and your glory. Oh, we worship you. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the life. We worship you, Jesus. 
We magnify you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Ebenezer, this offer the Lord God Almighty has brought us, and we give you more the glory and we give you more the honor. Before I open the lines for testimonies, I would like to give you a, a couple of uh, announcements. Please, tomorrow we are continuing. Tomorrow we are continuing. And also, on the 15th to the 17th, we are starting our Hour of Power with Jesus Christ conference. Please, those of you who showed interest, if I have not sent you the information, please uh, email me, call me, so that I can give you the information of how you can come to the program. There will be anointed service, healing, deliverance. Everything will be in place as we believe and trust the Lord for deliverance, to fulfill our destiny this year. So call me and I'll give you the information. Also, um, Friday, we keep the normal time. Friday, we don't meet like we do in the course of the week. We meet the normal time. Come in and you'll be blessed. And thank you all for those who have been sending your donation to the ministry. I just want to say thank you and God bless you. Is there any testimonies before we close for tonight? And I'll... Trying to harass me in my